What's up guys, this is the Brethren and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So we're on for an hour special today. And pick it up from where we left off, we have had to allocate significantly more forces into the Indian theatre because we had a bit of a... we got I, I was a bit silly to be honest and I managed to lose Hyderabad and the Indian forces seem to be pushing out in force so we need to do the same back to them um, but I think everything's been done over here um, oh yes we've got this marauding Spanish stack in Cuba but they will be dealt with in due course um, but yes it's all about India for us at the minute and the problem is, is the, Mar the Mughals well they can pump out lots of troops but they're not very usually very good troops um, we need to take Hyderabad and I need to what I'm doing here is the right thing like I'm recruiting troops in Ceylon I'm shipping them to the to the mainland because Karnataka can only recruit, recruit so many per turn but let's hit enter what I did was I stopped churning out troops. That that was the, the main problem. I stopped just going, right, here's just a bunch of troops. I just kind of... Which is what I needed to do. Because the Mughal Empire expand and grow. And I wasn't. So it was really, it was inevitable. I was going to get pushed back. You know, sooner or later. <laughs> yep, they're falling back. Uh, no, I'm not going to give you any of that. Not $4,000. I don't know really. Ah, good. I was about to say I don't really know what to say when the Ottoman turns Ottoman end turn comes up because the last time it crashed the game. Well, undone, undone. recently, not the last time explicitly, but recently it crashed the game. And then the game just goes, no, that's not happening. Uh, withdraw. Drew back to a safe haven. Good. So they've. Uh, so they've gone to raid. They've gone to to raid, but it means they've left Hyderabad open for us to siege again. And I think we just need to keep sending up relief there columns. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. So you push up to the fort. Right. Push up to the Fishing bridge. Port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an. Yeah, in Guadeloupe have a commercial basin. As I'm over here in the Americas, actually, let's finish off Mr. Crespi. Come on. Good lad. So that's them dealt with. Port. They've still got ships in port. But I don't think I can influence. I can. Take this ship on strength. Aye, aye, Captain. Hop into port. Oh, it's going to be expensive. No, it's only 1600. Good. Okay, let's hop back to India. So they've booted us back out of their port because they need it to make cash. Blockade their fleet in ports. It's a brig and a Zebek are there. Let's bring the fifth out. Actually, to be honest, I think I might just need to keep sieging to make some money. To make more money, I need to keep sieging. Because that gets us about eight grand. That's a good chunk of cash. So you're not really anything important. Uh, Frederick Carlson with the Kalmar, the first Kalmar, yeah. Bring Nils up to position as well. Uh, who do I want? You, probably. But let's keep. Okay. So you're reinforcing. You're the remnants from the army that originally went up to Katak, I believe. So you could do with two more guns and I could probably bring over a bunch of company Lord troops bring the Marsh. household cavalry into theatre 
Kramot. Nope. Nope. Need to bring him both. It's too bad I don't have a port in our cot yet. Um, Pondicherry. Oh, I don't, don't know my Indian towns. I want to say that's the port. It's Madras. Where's Pondicherry? I've heard of Prince Pondicherry, but that's in a story. I can't remember what it is. Aha! So it, yeah, so it is a port to the south. Good. Yep, soon we'll have another stack here. Then we've also got... Some more troops. Spring into Calicut, because they're aboard a second-rate ship of the line, which is lovely. Disembark the ships. Disembark the troops and get them over to our cot. And let's get the second race ship of the line to join my main fleet. So then... So to be honest, fourth so quite a good option. So it's two turns till they're recruited and I'm going to want... I want to send more... more elite troops over there. So let's... Wow, I can get five units of Fusiliers by the time that second rate's working. Oh, I was finished. Drop a couple of houses in the fort as well, just to maintain our obligations. So let's upgrade the port. Ports are always good. No, keep replenishing, sorry. Ports are always good to replenish, to upgrade. Have I got metal roads in Connecticut? Yes. Get the Copenhagen. I mean, they've got one mortar, but I still might have to chance it. No, take it. Take it steady. Take it, take it steady. Don't take any risks. Or many risks. And you were also destined to be shipped over, weren't you? Yes, you were. So let's get these marines. Let's take two of these fourth rates. Ship them over to India. Trade Green, Hans Weiser Drill Master. Oh, that's over in the Americas. Not so bothered about that. This is where... This is where the important things are happening. To be honest, I might, I might just have to try siege it. Or just, just try and attack it. Uh, they've got a little, but they've got, uh, no, it's lots of camels. I hate fighting cavalry. Lots of cavalry instead of fort. I'd rather have them try and attack us, and I could deploy it out back, back to safety. So you are building the ordnance board. As are you. Good. So let's hop back over to India. Hit and turn. There's reinforcements moving up. But yeah, even though now my situation has gone backwards, I feel in a stronger position overall. Because I've got four and a half, four and two thirds ish stacks ready to roll on India. So I think they're going to have. Well, we're, we're in a much better position in general. That, that's. Um, and I'll. Well, sometimes the aim is to capture the settlement, not to destroy it. Although that's for... No, that's... I mean, I know the guy... That's the, that, that, that particular impression might be the Centurion in Rome 1. Um, but this game, and Napoleon does do the similar sort of thing, where it tells you, you know, you can't just destroy everything. Yeah, auto-resolve it. 
Eh, we didn't die. There's plenty more where they're coming from. Yeah, chasing them down as is tradition. Fifths were always a not ideal solution. Ooh. Interesting. Don't worry, my saw. You're not our enemy. Yet. And Corlin's being Corlin'd. More than welcome. They're just going to sail around. Just don't cause any trouble. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Plantations. You need better roads. You don't need those yet. You need better roads. And a ship for the shipyard. First priority always. Always, always, always. Yeah. So those two guns are going to go in. I take two units of company infantry out. Give you two units of heavy cavalry, household cavalry, march up to the Darabad front. Group these together. Okay, let's build that. Actually, that's not, that's not strictly necessary, but, you know, why not? Yeah. So who are you trying to meet up with? No, neither of them need you, so I'm going to send you back. Let's march them because the west coast, or the east coast. Yeah. We want them to come after us, I think. Just march up a bit more. So we're one turn away from building the ordnance board. And if I attack, I'm going to want to attack with them. Let's go for it. So they've got it to be a bit more manageable. I want to spread my guns out to create multiple breaches, but I'm going to want to spend time uh, decent how it's a shots. And if possible, if I can get them to do some sort of counter battery to see if I can actually take out their mortars. I doubt it, because for some reason mortars seem to be super good at withstanding artillery. Um, at least novelly compared to the size of a gun. Put main battery up front, secondary battery. Well, battery is a very fancy word for this. How it says up front, two. So they can target. Yeah, they can do counter battery from outside actually. So let's put two units of fusiliers and a line infantry unit to go to go in the front and the mountain troops. Let's group together the remnants plus a unit of heavy cavalry. You're going to go over here. Let's target my howitzers. Oh wow, that's yummy. I mean, the objective here has to be to. I mean, I, so I, know, I am aware their reinforcements are coming up, coming on the field. 
I also like the fact that these guys are not in range. It's going to attack ground just in front of the gate because it looks like they're going to start to swarm out. They, yeah, the reinforcements are coming in, but it's just a, a a rubbish, a very poor reinforcing unit of cavalry. But let's let my let my um, how to find round shot have a bit of fun bombarding this mess of troops. I don't know what they are. They shooting at the general already? My new battery. I mean, okay, I've got to... Calling my bluff here. Men, make ready. The infantry are just... Okay, my other battery. Punch a hole. Here. And I will move... I'll run my... I will run my cavalry through the gap. Because this is just... Oh. Oh, actually, I just no. I just um, focus fire the the area here with carcass shot, weaken a bit, so I can run my heavy cavalry through the gap. Because I mean, this was not the outcome I expected. So much so, I think I have, regardless of whether the mortars are dead or not, I have to advance. So let's get my guns to work on another breach. Because these guys are marching at us in column. There is some camels out on the flank. You guys run rapidly. So they're already firing. So let's get round shot on the shot on the mortars. Get the Hout Cavalry running already. You guys just fire at whoever you want. So if I get my Hout Cavalry already running, they'll probably breach before my before my um, troops are there. Advance up a regiment of foot. To make eyes with them while we just knock back the rest of their garrison forces. Come on, one more nice little. One more little volley. Is that a gap? Nope, 84%. Still a gap. Still got to wait.
Okay, so they go for the Hindu warriors. Let's get my mountain troops in skirmish. Okay, pull these guys back. Surprising, my guys are very unhappy about that, so let's pummel them with my artillery. No, they got oh, they know they got their volley off beforehand. So this force is going to be done for. My cavalry should be near these guys. You guys, abandon whatever it is you're doing. Fusiliers, that's not who I want to fight the Islamic swordsmen. I mean, these fusiliers continue to attack. You guys continue to attack the Marines. Artillery focus fire the combat because it is currently it's currently not being focused on you guys everyone just running the gates are open which is handy despite the fact that you're being mown down stop firing the artillery let's run the fusiliers up to the rear of this combat No, they've closed the gate. Get up the top. Those fusiliers are going down. This, this, okay, halt. Killed their general. Folks in the tune of dervishes. They're running around inside, but I want these guys to get up here and capture the capture the gate. Which I mean, I mean, look at it. it should be ours. You go actually go back here to cover the gap. Run. Oh. Two cock a shot going against the dervishes. Let's get the cavalry on the go. You guys are up on the walls, literally on the wall. Wait. Hey! Where are they? That's not confusing at all. What a naff battle this has been. Holy hell. Badly fought by me. I mean, I think the most of them not the gate. The gate's open. Look, 
I don't know why this gate isn't mine, personally. I can't really... Okay, artillery. Focus the camels. gone over there. Ah, no. Don't lose my general. This is the good one. I don't want him to die by bumping into... I don't want him to die by bumping into this. Oh! No. We can lose our top general because he's just ran on into a some. Like, look, run! Leg it, let them chase you. I just don't want you to die. This regiment of horse is going to get it as well. Focus on Shiro Bowman. And let's get ready to. Let's get ready to make this unit of cavalry retreat. It's not going to help because they're coming in on the field piecemeal. General's bodyguard's still on the field. Speed up time because they're not really like run. God, we've got the hussars are coming on as well. To be honest, I don't mind skipping this because right now it's just a bit of a. It's been a really ragged battle. Like they they sallied out. I cocked up the assault from the front. I just keep pulling cavalry back. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take that. <laughs> just end it. God, that was... Um, but, for a low cost... For low cost, we have captured the city. Frederick Carlson. Move... Take out this guy. Oh, I didn't, oh, didn't realise that guy was coming in for reinforcement. But I want them here. Also replenishing. And you guys also replenishing. And then you guys... Oh, no, you're okay to wait. You're marching up. Good. Ideally, I want these guys to attack us. Well, really, uh, to be honest, but neither of these armies are ideal. Especially you with conscripts. Okay, so next turn we've got Ordnance Board. But let's go see what the reaction of the move against uh, us invading their city. Because I suspect they are not going to be happy about it. But that doesn't matter. It's our goddamn city. Even though we invaded it first, it's ours now, again. Um, but yeah. We got it back. That's what matters. And I want to recruit a dedicated garrison for it. With just troops and mortars and a couple of guns, but no explicitly no cavalry. You want division of labour? Um. See, so who are you fighting that I'm also fighting? No, you're fighting. You're not fighting any common allies, so no. Why would I want to help you grow your economy, Poland? Oh my 
adventure, I take the chance. Especially as I can, I can stop them from crossing over to Copenhagen, aid my university, and that would start to really impact my intellectual development, particularly as they are the, the, the unit that's currently researching quicklime. Yeah, these are a lot of troops. Coming after us, maybe? Nope. They're more content to raid. I don't want I don't want to repeat what I've done and overstretch myself too quickly. I want to build up my forces and push my way through. There is through. a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Okay, let's upgrade the port. Ooh, global trading company, not for you, not yet. What would be good is if I took this fifth conquistador. Got my agent onto this. Ship my agent over. Then this army here. Well, let's have a quick look at Florida. Yeah, it's a, it's a size of. Oh, there. Ah, there's a full stack down here. Okay, maybe attacking Florida might not be the best thing to do for now. Let's get this army back to Cuba. Yeah, you can't export everything yet. So let's get the commercial base in. Let's go back to our home port and build in the global trading company. Oh, who's probably better placed? I think Sweden, maybe, for a global trading company. Let's upgrade some of these logging camps because they're cheap and they're good. Good investments, just a little, just a flat 750 to town wealth. Especially Sweden's growing like a mother. Clamor for reforms going up because, I'm, because of the techs I'm researching, but that's not that's not terrible. It's not the end of the world. London's still growing really well too. So great class go to a commercial basin. Okay, yeah, they've raided the plantation, but I don't care about that. We got a order. Marsh, Manar, Framot. I want. I want this guy. Oh, I can't build a fort, that's why. Cause it'd be quite a nice solution to build a fort and fill it full of cheap troops here to help act as a buffer crossing the river. Let's march this guy west alongside Nils. Um, so they still might fancy their chances in attacking me. Let's move you up into position. Follow the guns. And I may... You have got lots of cavalry and artillery. Not a massive amount of light infantry. Put them under siege just to cause them some concern. Let's bring up the marines as well. I think these, yeah, this guy's blocking the path across, so that's why they wanted to row all the way up here. Okay, let's get these cuirassiers across. Drop them a bit further up, up, up ahead. Let's take this fifth and add it on to this fleet, which is a bit knackered, but it's helping to keep Bengal isolated. Good, a lot of forces in the region. 
A lot of enemy forces as well, but... We're doing good. Okay. When in doubt, add more garrison forces. Good stuff. Yep, yeah, still detect the agent. He keeps trying to destroy our farm, but it's not going to work. Okay, end turn. Cause it'd be nice if I could, be, yeah, it'd be nice if I could build a fort at the riverbank. Cause I could probably put the Hyderabad garrison there, and that would be a great. They would, they would have to expand so many troops to take that fort. Well, I doubt they'd be able to. I mean, realistically. Flintlock cannon for 700. No. I'm not giving you anything, Poland. You've, you've made your decisions about who your, where your allegiances lie in Europe. Sending troops east. Yep, and they're trying to flank around. Around Hyderabad. So they are trying to, they are looking for gaps. Okay, so they've abandoned. Ooh, okay, hold on. Are they, they coming after us? Yay! The agent died trying to kill our, trying to burn down our farms. See, one alternative was to take my sword and advance straight through that There's territory. A in but this region yes, we executed him. Damn right. Select the no, I'm not going to start dropping random global trading companies. Hmm. To be honest, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to start landing armies over here to the west. I might even take you secure Goa. That's not really a fight, so I'm just going to alter that. So we've taken Goa. We can disembark the troops. Build walls and fortify it up. So they, they are trying to find a way around to hit Hyderabad. But we're getting... Okay, if I move you here... The troops can run straight in. Eh... Uh, Give them a pair of guns, I guess. Although, actually, the better answer is probably to do... Ooh, too much infantry. Right back. Oh. Let's get these Cossiers into here as well. Although, just the one. Let's put the Marines inside. We can't put them the inside. Are you all ready? Let's get some Indian mercenaries. Oh, did you all go up here? No, I just wanted the fifth rate to go up here. Let's bring you guys back. Engineer school. Let's go for... I should start churning out some 24 pounders in Ceylon. And we could even... Even deliver our first shipment. Can we move up? Um, no, I'm gonna. I'm, even if this other stack. Ooh, actually, you gonna. You can go through here. Might be what they want me to do. I've got to do this. Try and block this guy. Mohinder, Mohinder back, 
Baksh. Can this army leave Goa? Yes, it can. So then it will go to there. You might actually balance back a little bit to here. Good. More. Good. Let's take two, four, three eights and blockade Vengerla. Let's take other two, four, three eights to go up here and hit Surat. So we're really starting to shut down their economy, or is it shut down? They've just got to trade a uh, fishery up here. Good. So in effect, we blockaded the Indian continent with our ships. Good. Crimson port, good stuff in England. Could probably do with recruiting some better ships. Yeah, this fourth rate ship the line will be okay. Sars and Marines. Get them over there. Good stuff. This is a real build up of forces. I need to check my army's minister. He's really good. Good. Could do with a better Indian guy. Nope. Just four stars. Six turns until our precious quicklime. Okay, so the armies hit Goa can hit Satara, and then we'll have a nice front line. The army at Katak, if they're hit by a second stack, I might make them fall back. Because capturing Bengala is a pain in the ass in itself, so I'm not so bothered if I don't have a lightning thrust at the eastern coast. Um, I'm more, I'd rather keep those two armies together and sort of intact. So if they attack, if that's my army will retreat. If if the garrison sallies out, then we'll stand our ground and attack them. Well, if they sally out, we'll stand our ground and defend, obviously. Yep, so they've pulled back. It's a lot of armies. It's a lot of armies. So they've fallen back. Well, one of them has. The rest haven't got into position. But we're going to really need to pump out troops. I mean, we already are pumping out troops, but it's the, the special, the special ones we need. We want decent cavalry, decent artillery, some heavier infantry where possible. A, they're better armies there for it, and they're a bit more interesting. That has not yet been developed. Oh god, it's going to keep wanting that. New port emerges, Pontecherry, military dockyard. Yeah. So you, I've got good artillery. You can hit Sikandar. Get our order. I mean, this army is going to put Satara under siege. I mean, to be honest, you could probably take it. Well, yeah, I say it could probably take it. It would take it. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to bloody this army against Sikanda Rathor. Some small waters, but let's push them, push them away. We need to struggle army, because otherwise they'll, they'll just keep growing. We come off their perch. That's what we need to do. And maybe I'll re I'll re I will rebuild one of my armies to go on a flanking run. Near up near Narun. Ooh, this is a lovely bit of terrain. OK, 
case, let's drop a set of guns here. So they are going to be able to attack us. I do actually need to check on the status of my expat infantry. I need to get some units renamed and rebuilt after they got after they got massacred. Some houses there, our mortars are there. Our other gunner. Get a position. Sepoys and some fusiliers on one flank. Sepoys and marines on the other. Put both Macurassiers on one flank, general on the centre. Everybody engage that unit of mortars. All that and they achieved nothing. No, they're on they're in they're in carcass shot position. Let's get this unit to actually start to plink at the general's bodyguard. I mean, you guys may as well keep going for the mortars. Halt. Okay, you guys can't carcass shot whoever you like yet, so just. Just do round shot. I did get some good kills on their mortar crews. Let the artillery just ring out. So I prefer you guys to have, a, to have a bit more freedom to drop some more interesting well to be able to drop some round shot to get your experience level up. I mean, I may as well stop targeting you there. Go for that unit of dervishes instead. So, got carcass shot coming in. So, guys, I think our oil is playing up. Just one sec, guys. It's being frustrating. Develop some sort of weird whistling problem. Does it speed up time a little bit? Because right now that's not doing anything. We've got 12 men, but still enough to crew all four guns, so it's not a win exactly, is it? Okay, next round of carcass shots coming in. Okay, that's more like it. Eight crew is no longer enough to crew all of them, I think. So we've attacked them, but right now I'm more than happy just to spend a bit of time dropping artillery on them. Cannot afford to take risks. In India, I need to spend my my troops' lives as wisely and as dearly as possible. Oh, they're wavering. They've dropped... Dropped one of the mortars. 12 power foot artillery is opened up, so let's do some counter-battery in that regard as well. Because they are picking at my cavalry. six men remaining that could be enough to no longer need to worry about them so blasting them with canister shot even though they're technically out of range there is still a range
cavalry back out, back into position. Aim at the dervishes, aim at this unit of dervishes. No, actually, one of you still go for them. Yeah, so still, oh, did they get one of my, they got one of my training teams? Okay, that's probably enough. And this cover is going to get mauled by... Cast shot. Cavalry is coming in. Engaging my gunners with musket fire. My gunners is routed. Form square. Dervishes. This guy's square formation is broken. Go after the guns. Mob the Hindu warriors because the fusiliers are rubbish in melee combat. I say that, I'm not going to run these guys in. So they're tired, my guys are winded. Shot. The light cavalry and engage you with my heavy cavalry. Smash the Hindu warriors in the back with my cuirassiers. Zamandari pipe are coming in. Guards have seen off my line of infantry. Everyone's needed everywhere, decisively. It's the line infantry guards gone. My cavalry, did my cavalry break? I bet my, mor my mortar's probably has something to do with that. There's no way they should have broken against a bunch of Kizabishi cavalry. Reinforcements, huzzah! Although they're not really necessary. Let's get this cavalry to chase down the Hindu warriors. Go 
started hauling the dervishes. Bowman. Oh no, that cavalry came back. Chase down the mortars. I do quite like the little run around game we've got going on with the single unit of dervishes. Deploy my general and there this general as well while I'm at it. Send this single poor unit out to go get the bowman. Absolutely continue. So the mortars are going to move along magically. Up again against the dervishes, speed up time a little bit. Let's halt artillery fire. Then let's get you in on the dervishes here. You're picking them apart. Oh, you go for that unit of infantry guards instead. You want to get some good kills out of those dervishes. Good stuff. Triple speed. Ooh, I forgot to stop you guys. Well, they're going to retreat because they're going to make it to the line. So you go after the infantry guards too. As will you. Then once these chaps are all dead, get after this last chap, or last set of chaps. They will not be. They will not be successful in. Well, we might actually. It's not so we won't be successful at killing them all, but. Ah, no, they're going to make it. Could do some fancy trickery, but nah. Decisive victory. So back. 500, 600-ish to about 3,000. It's not bad. Let's get you. Replenishing. Awesome. Carlson can't build a fort for some reason. Order. But you can. And you'll upgrade that to an artillery fort to help protect the western approaches. Uh, mortars. Yeah, one, one turn of replenishment would be better. Let's hit end turn and see what happens. Um, let's get infantry out. Oh no, I can't mix them around and mix them. I can't move them, move the troops around anyway, so it's just cancel. Okie dokie. Let's see what they have to say to that. My learned opinion is not much. But there's always a chance. I mean, I'm sat here going, ha ha ha, and be like, ah, I've got them out, Fox, to treat, because that's just not true. They've got a big, solid core of infantry. Ooh, 13 colonies have just smashed up a French, a French navy, and they've destroyed it completely. Moving up. 
map. Might be good to hit Naroon with a force. As you can see that they are spitting out troops like nobody's business. I mean, so much so I don't want to intercept them <laughs> if they come near me. Hmm. A port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yeah. Let's upgrade into commercial port and a military governor's barracks, and you've got good roads. Order. Hmm. Let's push him up through the through the channel. Let's threaten Nagpur. Just advance up all the troops. Let's get the guns aboard. Swap the guns over so they still have some movement, although it's actually less than dropping them off up the coast. Let's drop a sloop in the port to make sure it stays safe. Let's move the fuselage up to the main force. Also, this unit of artillery. To be honest, I might actually give them a general. Conrad Order. Let's get you some cavalry, sir. You're still recruiting. You're still recruiting. Fleet arrives. Let's drop them off here. Deploy the cavalry and the marines. And the cavalry and marines will meet up with my new general, Comrade Oda. And they will also get this howitzer too. You are in desperate need of some foot artillery. You can only get two. Because you only need one cavalry now. So you can instead get three. There we go. Perfect. Then we've got a new fifth ray ready to drop off an agent. Oh, I didn't embark him. Nuts. I'm sure I did. Apparently not. Oh well. No, he is. <sighs> Stupid game. Okay, send the agent up. Group these ships up to the next navy because that's actually a fourth and a fifth. Uh, too good to set to just sit inside. I mean, try assassinating him if you like. Gotta try to do something. Then what I want to do is take Nils and then we will attack Satara. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part, or at least damn near. Because I stopped my recording, I don't exactly know. Um, but yes, we'll take Satara and then hopefully anchor the western flank. But like I said, I believe that's the end of the part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.